student loans are a hot button issue right now. You're seeing it in the news, you're seeing it on TV. Um, and while we don't know what the Supreme Court is gonna do, we can give you some picture of how it's gonna affect the consumers that work with us. What we see is a little more than one in five consumers we work with today have a student loan that's currently in deferment. The challenge is that those consumers are already in a financial place where they are struggling to afford their day-to-day -day expenses. The average consumer with student loans has a more than $300 a month deficit in their budget. So they're spending $300 a month more than they're making. And these aren't clients who are you know, struggling with eating out or um, you know, paying too much for Starbucks drinks every day. These are consumers who by and large have already made cutbacks to their budget you know, have reduced eating out, have tried to reduce those extra expenses, um, and are still still more than $300 in the hole each month. Um, when we look at those student loans, the average themselves, the average consumer that we're working with has almost $50,000 in student loan debt. So even if the courts allow that $10,000 student loan forgiveness to go forward, the majority of the folks that we're seeing today are not going to be able to have paid off all of their debt. It will make a difference. It will absolutely make a difference. Um, but not a huge difference, particularly given that budget deficit that they're already working with. One of the other challenges we're struggling with here is that consumers who have student loans have a larger deficit than consumers who have never had a student loan on their credit report. So for folks that we see who have never had a student loan, they're down about $117 a month. So they're spending about $117 every month more than they have coming in. Um, and that's compared to, it turns out, $338 a month that student loan borrowers are in the hole every month. There's a lot of things that can explain that. Some of it's gonna be cost of living, some of it's gonna be um, you know, whether or not they have kids, um, the cost of cars, their incomes are different, so that could be it as well. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, we're looking at, for student loan borrowers, consumers who are more financially distressed already, even if student loans are in deferment. And once those loans come back into repayment with student loans at about $50,000, um, we're looking at a student loan payment of, on average, somewhere around $400 to $450 a month. That is a incredibly difficult hump to overcome when you're already that far in the hole. So as we roll forward with the year, we're going to be really focused on student loan borrowers, student loan debt, and trying to help them find solutions to make that student loan payment fit in their budget. Some of that's gonna be helping them understand student loan repayment options. So things like income contingent repayment that can get their payment as low as zero, depending on their monthly income. Some of that's gonna be helping them deal with other debt that they have. So minimizing that unsecured debt so that they have more money to put toward their student loan. And some of it is gonna be common sense budgeting assistance. So helping them figure out where are the things that they can cut back? What are their real priorities for their family? And how can they make this new payment work for them when uh, eventually these student loans come back into repayment sometime in the late summer?